So guys, we're at a canal next to the Potomac River and fishing is going to be quite interesting today. There's one person waiting over there fishing. This portion of the Potomac River is very shallow. I'm gonna have to fish the canal or something. Oh. oh my god. Wow. Pretty good looking some fish. Right here. It seems like I'll only be able to find uh, sunfish and some minnows here. So that's what I'll fish with my tiny little crank crankbait. Guys, there's so many minnows there. Can you can you see? You see those minnows? There's so many of them. Alright guys, this is very sketch. Uh, I'm trying to get a little bit further forward. ton of clams here that are open. Check it out guys. Look at all these uh, clams. I don't know what's going on here but it might be some kind of bird fishing out these clams and eating them. Or like people are doing this? I don't know. It's pretty cool. Tiny guy. Another nice little sunfish.
is this? Four to six days later. What's up guys? At location K again. It suddenly got pretty cold. So I'm afraid uh, fishing is going to start getting pretty tough. And that's why I'm going to explore one of the last bigger lakes here. It's a, it's a decent sized one, so let's see if we can get some bass. We have some overcast today. Temperature is not too high, but not too cold either. I already had my little crankbait on. Um, spinner baits and lipless crankbaits are supposed to be pretty good for fall, but this is the only crankbait I have, and it's a miniature one. But it practically works like a lipless one, even though it has a tiny lip. It doesn't actually work like a crankbait, it's more like some kind of a lipless, very like floating lipless crankbait. So I'm just gonna see what I can catch here first and then search to Texas. Oh my god. Not used to such a small bait. Casting such a small bait. Right now I'm just trying to see if there's a smaller fish. Um, and see what kind of fish there are in here. Really not much going on in the water. Don't really see, uh, don't really see any fish on the sides. I'm looking right in front of me, it's pretty shallow. Okay, I don't know if this is working. That should be a good spot, like, there, there should be fish there. Ah, freaking gnats going in my eye. Wow, nothing. Should be blue here. Oh, that's a branch. It's got caught. Okay, I'm switching to my Texas rig with the black and blue Z-Man because uh, I don't think, like nothing seems to be interested in this bright reddish, orangish red. It's actually red, but nothing, nothing really is like this color over here. Actually, I just found this in my box. I think I'll try this. Really not sure about my knot this time. It was pretty horrible. I kept it on though. So let's hope it doesn't like fail me. Okay, that was a okay. It's not a very heavy weight on there. This way I can oh oh my god, I already got a bite. Dang. Well actually it could have I mean the bait's so small. Got a soft lure here, so it could it could be a bluegill. It could be a bluegill. But yeah, this way I can have a slower presentation because uh, of the cold weather. What am I saying? Because of the cold weather. Cast even closer to the left. And eventually we'll just get near the trees. Oh, no, man. That was a... <laughs> They're biting at it. Darn it. Should have known better. No, I don't want to lose this one. Pretty sure I can manage to get this one out. I'm very experienced in this type of situation because I've gotten so many snags. Tap in the opposite direction. No, get out. <laughs> Bro, bro, like, bro. I'm very experienced in this type of situation. It's, a, it's past 11 and all I've done was change a bait. Let's see if there are fish hiding right here. And please don't give me a snag. Bruh, this place is, this place is packed with nothing. Sorry, ducks. Oh, there they go. 
Sorry I have to disturb you to fish over here, but the water does seem really shallow. All around, like everywhere it's shallow. Lots of turtles. I think that's that's the activity that I saw. There's duck poop over here, good to know, good to know. I mean I don't really see any fish. The water is super clear. I can't even see like dark shadows over there, there's like vegetation. I can see in the middle of the lake. This is uh, really not looking that great for fishing. Someone was clearly standing here, probably fishing, but oh my god, let's give me a heart attack. Oh, stupid frogs, man. And, there's, and their little screams. Those things can really scare you. So if you're out in the wild, you gotta look out for these frogs. Because it's more likely that you'll die from a heart attack by, by being scared from those frogs than being bitten by a snake. Now this is not a professional opinion, but it's uh, an opinion. Also, let me just go back there. There's just this random kid's shoe next to the water. What kind of place is this? What kind of place is this? Yeah, this place is, I mean, it's just shallow all around. All, all around the, the entire lake is just shallow. Pretty much useless. I'm gonna make like one more cast and if I don't get anything, I have to move, I have to move out of here. This is, ah, oh shoot, gonna open the bail. Amateur mistake. Okay, right there, slamming in the water. I'm knocking on the door, saying hello. And uh, oh, what was that? And no one answers, so I say goodbye. Next lake. So you know how I was talking about that little shoe I found over there? I walk back and find this. What is going on here? You know, the thing with exploring new bodies of water is that sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Today, whole lake was just super shallow, just a couple feet deep all the way. It's a hit or miss. I guess I sometimes miss, huh? Alright hey guys, you know the drill. Small lake first, then bigger lake. So there were three kids fishing to my left and that was where the deeper water was in that small lake. And uh, I don't want to just go over there and just invade their space their fishing spot. I mean, I don't think anyone does that. So, I'm not gonna compete with them also because uh, I don't know if I can win. They seem to know what they're doing and there's three of them. Um, they're using braided line so they can cast further. Maybe some kind of spinner bait, I think. Wasn't sure. And also some bait, I think I saw some bait. Uh, but yeah, I hope they can catch a fish. I'm pretty sure they can catch a fish there. Uh, with some with some time. I'm gonna try the next small lake and then move on to the big lake. Pretty sure I'll get uh, fish here and I'll catch them without competing with the kids. Something's not right with this water. It's super green. I hope it's not that like blue-green algae that's toxic. So those kids are fishing where I was earlier. I when they when they came over I just moved. Because I wasn't getting anything. Finally caught one. Like eight inches. Again, I beat those kids. Well it's a different group, but I beat the kids. Guys, there are so many frogs here, check this out. Every time I record, things disappear. I'm like a magician. Hit the record button, all the animals and fish just leave. Like there are so many frogs. 
Caterpillar check. Is that thing alive? Hello? Oh my god, it's like oozing. Guys, I gotta leave. That was like at least three hours, and I only caught that one fish. A tiny little guy. Fishing from now on is gonna be tough. Weather's getting cooler, and they're less likely to be active.